Well, dear students, good morning to you all. In the previous class, we explained about the subsidy books. In the subsidy books, there are eight purchase book, sales book, purchase returns book, sales returns book, and then cash book, bills receivable and bills payable books, last and final general problem. In these four books, purchase and sales, purchase returns and sales returns, we have to enter the only goods and we have to enter only the credit transactions. Only the credit transactions. In these books, all goods are recorded as well as credit transactions are only recorded. Now, all cash transactions are recorded in the cash book. All the transactions are recorded in the cash book. Now, in the cash book, there are four types of cash books, single column cash book, double column cash book, triple column cash book, and petty cash book and petty cash book well dear students in the cash book only cash transactions are recorded cash book works as a cash account also it is the journal as well as ledger also that means no separate cash account in the ledger in the ledger book no cash account Cash book itself works as a cash account also. Understand? Now, single column cash book. Single column cash book means only amount column is there. Only amount column is there. It is also called general cash book or simple cash book. Date column, particulars column, LF column, amount column is there. Date, particulars, LF, amount column. Here, we are recording only receipts. When money is coming, that only recorded here. When money is going, they are called payments. Payments are recorded on credit side. Once again, look here. Cash book, simple cash book. It is the general cash book. It is also called as single column cash book. In the single column cash book, only cash column is there. That means amount column is there. Only single column. Date particular sell of common to every ledger account. Every account. Now, in the cash book, we have to record only cash transactions. Whenever cash is coming, that means receipts are entered on debit side. Whenever cash is going, that means payments are entered on credit side. Payments are entered on credit side. Now, if it is a double column cash book, one more column is added. That is called discount column. Discount column. Discount is of two types. Trade discount and cash discount. Cash discount again divided into two parts. Two types. Discount allowed and discount received. Well, the students following or not? In the cash book, there are four types are there. Single column cash book, double column cash book, triple column cash book, and also pretty cash book. In the single column cash book, only amount column is there. But in the double column cash book, one more column is there, that is discount column. Discount column. 
discount is mainly two types trade discount and cash discount trade discount is the discount at the time of buying and selling that means at the time of trade trade means buying and selling whenever we are buying goods or whenever we are selling goods the list price is reduced tag price is reduced or quotation price sale price already whatever we fix the price that price is reduced that is called trade discount understanding at the time of buying or selling already price is there that price is reduced that is called trade discount but in the case of cash discount already in the account how much balance is there how much due is there that is reduced suppose you go to a bank you already taken a loan from bank sir how much i have to pay finally please tell me they will go through the account they will check the balance suppose there is a balance of 10000 rupees that is the account balance that is the due amount that amount if you ask they may reduce 2% or 3% that means suppose they reduce to 200 we have to pay 9800 so this is the discount at the time of receipt or payment. Understanding? Trade discount is at the time of buying or selling. Cash discount at the time of receipt or payment. At the time of receipt, we are allowing discount. Suppose I am receiving cash, cash account at all, discount allowed account at all, 2x for example. Actually I have to receive 5000. By, I received only 4,900, that 100 is called a discount allowed. Discount we are allowing at the time of receipt, that's why discount allowed column will be in the debit side. Understanding? In the same way, when we are paying to bank, now we got a discount of 200, that is called discount received. We received. At the time of paying money, we got discount. That is called discount received. That will be on credit side. When you have taken discount column also, automatically it becomes double column cash flow. Double column cash flow. Once again, in the single column cash book, only cash column is there. Or amount column. But in the double column cash book, discount column is also there. Discount is of two types. Trade discount and cash discount. Trade discount at the time of buying and selling, cash discount at the time of receipt or payment. At the time of receipt, discount is allowed. At the time of payment, discount received. Discount received. Now, the trade discount not at all entered in the books of accountancy. Trade discount not at all entered in the books of accountancy. Take an example. Suppose I am going to purchase 10,000 worth of goods. Cost of goods, they given 1000 discount, 10%. That means we purchased a net value of 9000. That only recorded in the books of accountancy. 10,000 they given 1000 discount, that 1000 discount should not be entered in accountancy. That is only called cost concept. At what price you acquire the goods, that only recorded. At what price you acquire the goods? At what price you acquired or purchased by asset that only recorded trade discount not at all entered in accountancy. Understanding or not? Understanding? Once again, whenever we purchase goods or whenever we sold goods, there may be a trade discount. That trade discount not entered in accountancy. But cash discount must be entered in the cash flow. Discount allowed on debit side, discount issued on credit side. Understand? Next. The trade discount is allowed or received at the time of buying or selling only to promote the sales. So as to increase the sales, they may give 10% discount, 20% discount. So trade discount is a type of sales promotion technique. But cash discount we are allowing so as to collect the money in the early time. In the early in the prompt to time. Suppose a customer is regularly paying his installments at every first week, then we may allow him 2% discount based on his relation 
based on the relation between we may allow this count such a discount is called cash discount understanding this is the discount for promotion of sales but it is the discount to collect the amounts in early or prompt time sincerely we are going to collect this automatically our working capital will be improved and developed understand next <coughs> The trade discount is common to all. Common to all. Once we told 20% discount means it is common to anybody. But in the case of cash discount, not like that. It depends upon the relation with the customers. Relation with the customers. Once again, my dear students, just I explain single column cash book. Single column cash book means only cash column is there. In the double column cash book, discount column is also there. Discount allowed on debit side, discount received on credit side. Understanding? Next, in the triple column cash book, we are going to take one more column that is called bank column. Bank column, almost all today all the transactions are going on check system or online system. Right now, Google Pay, Tasia Pay, whatever it may be. Only the bank transactions are important. Why? Because there will be a proper proof whenever we paid by check or whenever we received a check automatically there will be a proof and evidence also. That's why all are going through payments by check. So that is also important bank column. When you added one more column bank column then it becomes a triple column cash book. Triple column cash book. Whatever is there please write down. Then I will go through triple column cash book. Well, dear students, now we are in the triple column cash book. In the single column cash book, only cash column is there. In the double column cash book, one more column discount is added. In the triple column cash book, one more column bank column is also added. That's why it is called triple column cash book. It is the Mixture of cash account, discount account and bank account. Three accounts are there here. I already told a number of times cash, cash book itself a cash account and also a bank account and also a discount account. Understand? Now, <clears throat> discount allowed, it is on receipt side because it is allowed at the time of receiving money. Discount received, it is taken on credit side or payment side. Why? Because it is linked to payment. It is linked to payment. When I am paying money, then only I am receiving discount. Understand? Now, I am going through bank transactions. When we receive a check, When we receive a check, it is taken as bank receipt. It is taken as bank receipt. What it means? Whenever we are receiving a check from a customer, from a customer, check is coming and immediately we are assuming that it is deposited in the bank. Whenever we receive a check, we are assuming that it is deposited in the bank immediately. So, check is received by bank. Bank account it on to customer account. Customer, for example, X. So, whenever we receive a check, bank account it on to X account. Bank account is debited. Hence, we have to write down debit side to X account. Here, directly we received amount is taken. Here it may be discount allowed. Understand? Whenever we received a check, it is taken as a bank receipt. Suppose, 
we received a check post dated check post dated check means uh, it will be collected on a particular date which is already mentioned on the check so it cannot be deposited on the same day then we can write down in two ways i am explaining clearly please look at the board sincerely whenever i issued a check temporarily it can be taken as cash cash account debit of x and whenever it is deposited bank account debit of x sorry bank account debit of cash well yes students whenever we issue a check temporarily it is taken as cash cash account debit of x and when we deposit it in the bank bank account debit of cash bank account debit of cash these two entries are required but it is all here cash account debit of x we will write down in the cash form when we deposit it in the bank bank account debit of cash it is a contra entry bank account debit of bank account debit of to cash we have to write down to cash in the bank column and cash account is created credit side we have to write down by bank look here temporarily we taken on debit side of cash and when we deposit in the bank we have taken on credit side of cash so here we have taken in the cash column debit side and when it is deposited we have taken on credit side so it is cancelled automatically there is only one amount that is in the bank column here also only in the bank column here also only in the bank column understand or not so when you write down this generally when we received a check we are assuming that it is deposited on the same day so bank account debit of x account but in this case we received the check on the same day we never deposited after two or three days only we deposited then when we received on that date we temporarily we write down we we'll write down in the cash column cash account debit of x and whenever it is deposited in the bank bank account debit of cash but it is a contra entry this is the system following generally by the board syllabus but in the central syllabus they are writing they are recording checks in hand account debit or to customer account and whenever it is deposited in the bank bank account debit or Two checks in hand. In this case, directly, this general entry is not recorded in the cash column because there is no cash, no bank. There is no cash, no bank. So you cannot record here. This is not recorded. Directly, this only recorded. Bank account debit to checks in hand. Bank account debit to checks in hand. Only the bank card. Understanding. So whatever the system you are following, the effect is same. The effect is same. Once again, last and final. When we receive a check, it is treated as a bank receipt. We are assuming that it is deposited on the same day in the bank. So bank account debit to customer account. Bank account debit to customer account. This is the this is the system followed in the state syllabus, either Andhra, Telangana, whatever it may be. Here we are temporarily taking into the cash column. When we deposit in the bank, then only we are taking into bank column. So here cash to X, bank to cash, cash and cash cancelled. Only bank account debit of X is there. Here also bank account debit of X is there. Understand or not? Last and final. This is the system when in the central syllabus, CBSE, ISC, like that. Whenever we receive a check, it is taken into checks in hand account or to X account or customer account. 
checks in hand account card. Temporarily, the checks what we received we are keeping in our office only, in our hand only. After certain period we are departing, then bank account card, two checks in hand. Here also checks in hand, checks in hand, both are cancelled. One debit to one credit is equal cancelled. No balance. So finally, what is there? Bank account card, two X is there. Understanding or not? So either this or this or this all are one and the same. Net effect is same. Bank account card, two X account or customer account. Understand? Next. Whenever we issue a check, whenever we make payment by check, understand? I issued a check to Y, to whom I have to pay. Y account it or to bank account. It is assumed as a bank payment. Y account it or to bank account. So bank account is created, credit side by Y. It is a bank payment. Rent paid by check, rent account not to bank. Salary is paid by check, salary is account not to bank. It is the payment made by bank. So you have to enter on credit side or payments side. Payments side. Once again, last and final, all of you, it is a cash book as well as a cash account. We told number of times, cash book and cash account both are one and the same. This is cash received, but here we cash issued, cash given. Any payment made by check, check payment, then bank, Y account get all, supplier account get all, to bank. Rent paid by check means rent account at all to bank. You can write down by rent. If you pay by cash, you can take in cash column. If you pay by check, you can take it into bank column. Understanding or not? Whenever payment is made in cash, by rent, by salary, by general expenses, whatever it may be, if it is payment by cash, take in cash column. If it is payment by, by check, you can take it in the bank column. Understanding or not? So please follow. Here there are two cases. Alternative cases. In this case or in this case, the net effect is same. What I am telling, we received check from customer, bank account data to customer account. Bank account data to customer account. In this case, temporarily we received a check. After two or three days we departed. Then you can write down cash to Excel and bank to cash, bank to cash. It is a control entry, control entry. Now, in this case, temporarily we are keeping the checks in hand account, checks in hand account, checks in hand account at all, two customers account. And when we divide in the bank, bank account at all, two checks in hand account. This and this both are cancelled. Here also cash and cash cancelled. Finally, only bank account at all to customer account or X account is there. Understand? Now, I will explain contract entries. Please take down whatever you want. Well, dear students, now I am going to contra entries. What is called? Contra entries. A transaction when it is posted on both sides of cash account or cash book, then it is called a contra entry. You have to enter on both sides. When deposited money in the bank,
when money deposit in the bank bank account debtor to cash account bank account debtor to cash account bank account debtor to cash account bank account is debited bank account is debited so we are writing debit side to cash and cash account is created on credit side of cash we are writing bank by bank this is only called contra entry so i ask to say it is a contra entry you can do in brackets c c for contra understand once again when we deposit money in the bank bank account is not to cash account bank account is not bank account is debited so debit side you can write down to cash and cash account is created on credit side you can write down bank account this is only called contra entry contra entry is a transaction when it is entered on both sides of cash both sides of cash next money withdrawn from bank money withdrawn from bank means money is coming cash account debtor to bank cash account debtor to bank account here cash account is debited so cash account debit side you can write down to bank Understand? Here bank account is created, credit side by cash. These two are called contra entries. Money deposited in the bank or money withdrawn from bank. Here you have to remember, this is the money withdrawn from bank for office purpose only, for office use only, not for personal. If it is for personal purpose, that means drawings. money withdrawn from bank for personal use it is not a contra entry why because whenever money taken for personal use family purpose or domestic purpose then you have to say drawings account drawings account is a owner sir expenses account who has personal expenses account so it is drawings must be debited drawings account debtor you have taken from bank to bank it is not a contra entry here we withdraw money from bank for office purpose it is the money withdrawn from bank for personal purpose so it is not a contra entry just you have to enter on credit side by drawings understand this one of check received previously we received a check when we received a check we entered the first transaction bank account the top to x account bank account the top to x account but it is dishonor by bank money not collected then we have to write down the reverse entry what it is called x account debtor to bank first when we received bank account debtor to x when it is dishonor you have to write down reverse entry for cancellation purpose so x account debtor to bank you can write down by x understand This is the reverse entry when you received a check bank account to part X. When it is dishonored, X account to part to bank. Well, dear students, 
last and final, I am going to explain two more items. Two are transactions, two more transactions. What are they? Bank charges and interest on deposit. As bank is providing so many valuable services to us, it is collecting checks and making payment of checks. They are giving overdraft facility, etc. For all these charges, bank may take certain amount for its service charges, which is called bank charges. Whenever bank charges is charged by the bank, whenever bank charges are charged by the bank. Bank charges account data to bank account. Bank charges account data to bank account. Bank charges is an expenditure, that's why it is debited. We have to pay to bank. All payables are credited. All payables are credited. By bank charges. Just uh, I received a message from bank. Bank charges are debited to your account. That is there in my message. Why you are saying? Why you are taking on credit side? Bank the charge means it is an income to them. It is an income to them, but it is debited to our account. Debited to our account. That is in the books of bank, not according to our books. That is only called business entity concept. In which book you are entering, that side only you have to think over. Here we are in our books. Our books means our account books. We have to pay bank charges. It is an expenditure to us. It must be debited. To whom we have to pay, that fellow must be created. So bank charges account it all to bank account. Bank account is created. Understand? Why it is debited in the bank? For them it is an income. For them it is an income and debited to our account. Here we have to credit to bank account. They debited to our account means here we have to credit to bank account. We have to pay. It is a payment. So it is on payment side. Clear? Now, last and final, interest on deposit. Interest on deposit allowed by bank to us. It is bank charged, but it is allowed by bank to us. It is an income, so we have to receive from bank, bank account at all, two interest on deposit. Bank account at all, two interest on deposit. Well, dear students, general entities are the most important. Once you are perfect in the general entities, automatically posting becomes easy. Posting becomes easy. Here we are posting in the cash account or bank account. Where? Posting in the cash account or bank account. Here once again, here contra entries are there. A transaction entered on both sides of cash book, it is called a contra entry. It should be posted on both sides. When we deposited money in the bank, it is a contra entry. And when we withdrawn from bank, it is also contra entry. But withdrawn from bank for personal use is not a contra. Is not a contra. Next, dishonor means what we receive. What we record in first, when we receive the check, bank account it ought to exit. When it is dishonored, you have to make it reverse. So it's account it ought to bank by exit. Next and last, bank charges, it is the amount charged by bank. But interest on deposit, it is allowed by bank. Bank allowed interest means it is an income to us and we have to receive from bank. All receivables are inside. Receipts are inside. We have to receive, it's always debited. We have to pay to bank, it is always great. Understanding. Finally, when we are balancing, cash account always shows debit balance. Cash account always shows debit balance. Debit side will be more. Take it on credit side, you will get here by balance carried down. Cash column always shows debit balance. Cash account is a real account. It is always debit balance. Bank account, bank column also always shows debit balance.
but sometimes it may show credit also that is called overdraft balance that is called overdraft balance once again bank column also generally shows debit balance as long as we are having balance with bank <coughs> but we have to pay when there is overdrawn from the bank we have only one lakh with bank but we withdrawn by taking permission from the bank manager one lakh twenty thousand we have only one lakh but we withdrawn one lakh twenty thousand that is only called overdraft that overdraft always shows credit balance overdraft shows credit balance last and final cash account always debit balance bank account may show debit or credit generally debit balance but sometimes whenever there is overdraft it shows credit balance well dear students please take down and in the next class we will do one problem on triple column cash book and we will go through an introduction to bank reconciliation statement okay see you all